Hi ladies. Today I want to go over some lower back release because um, I know as that belly starts to grow, you're starting to arch your back, your belly's coming forward, all that weight's pulling you forward, your abdomen is starting to stretch a little bit, those muscles maybe weren't as strong as they were, and then you're getting some low back pain. Um, and if you're not, then I, I applaud you. Um, so I just wanted to show you some poses in yoga that you can use to help with some low back pain. Um, maybe you do it in bed or before you go to bed at the end of the day. Maybe you do it first thing in the morning. It's just whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, one of those is going to be child's pose. Child's pose can sometimes be difficult as our belly starts to get bigger. So I like to use blocks to bring my seat up a little more. Um, so if you have a block, we're going to go ahead and use that. You can take your knees out a little wider here. Um, making room for your growing belly. Traditional child's pose has your knees together, but I actually prefer this pose anyway. And then you can place a block underneath your sacrum or your sit bones. Uh, and then you can walk your hands forward. Now chest just reaches down towards the floor just feeling some release in that low back. Maybe you come onto your forearms here if stretching your arms too far out is uncomfortable. I'm just breathing into this pose here. Maybe you walk your hands over to one side Feeling, if I'm walking my hands over to the left, I feel kind of a lengthening in the right side of my back. And then walking my hands over the other way. And then coming up. And then go ahead and take your block out here. Another one of my favorite dynamic poses is cat-cow. So you want to come into a tabletop position. And then your wrists are going to be right underneath your shoulders. So you kind of have a 90 degree angle in that wrist crease there. And then your hips can, your knees can be a little wider if they need to, um, to accommodate for your growing belly. But what you're going to do here is you're going to Drop your belly, lift your head as you inhale. And then exhale, gently round your spine. So drop your belly, lift your head, inhale. Exhale, round your spine. And then coming back to neutral here, start to shift your hips over towards the right, over towards the left. And then maybe you do a little side to side, so making kind of a, a C shape to bring your head and your hips over towards the left and then over towards the right. Over towards the left and over towards the right. And then maybe you do opposite, so maybe your hips go to the left, your head goes to the right, and then you switch. And then coming back to neutral, you're just going to make your way onto your sit bones. And then you're going to take your knees out in front of you. They're going to be bent out in front of you. Your hands are going to go behind you. You can have your fingers pointing towards your toes or you can have them pointing away. It's really whatever is most comfortable for your arms. But you're just going to bring the knees together and then you're going to take them over towards the left then over towards the right. So I feel like, you know, the later you get in pregnancy, the harder it is to get some low back relief. Um, and I think, you know, we're not supposed to necessarily lie flat. I mean, it's mainly for a prolonged period of time, but I know I always did twists to help and you don't want to twist the later that you get and do those 
closed twist poses um, in pregnancy. So some of these are my favorite to use. And then coming back up to a seated position. So those are just some of my favorite postures. Um, open up your back a little bit, provide some release. So if you guys have any comments or questions for me or want to know about any other poses, please feel free to reach out to me or leave a comment. Thanks.